1985, when America was gifted the little gray box known as the NES, Nintendo became a household name. Kids no longer played video games, they played Nintendo. And to further push their brand, they began marketing a variety of licensed products. From this day forward, these licensed products will be referred to as Nintendo, Nintendo Oddities. Oddities. Cue the music. Is it weird or is it lame? It's licensed stuff that isn't games. It's Nintendo Oddities are here. Nintendo Oddities are here. Let's see here. Super Mario Brothers? Nope, I beat that too many times. Batman? Nope, the Joker always kills me. King of Kings? <laughs> Skater Die? No, I've played that too many times. Mario 3? Great game, but not today. Turtles? Well, I'm not really in the mood. G.I. Joe? Yeah, that'll work. Let's play some G.I. Joe. Play some GI Joe. Good morning, men. The time has come to rid the world of Cobra. All right, let's pick. Let's take Snake Eyes and Rock and Roll. Let's go. Mission one one. Let's do it. You're going down, Cobra. G.I. Joe stands for none of this. Alright, a couple more hits. Jump it. Come on. Nice, I killed it. Awesome. Take that, Cobra. Yes, I beat it. Mission 1 1's complete. But I don't really feel like playing G.I. Joe on Nintendo anymore. I would like to play with some real G.I. Joes, though. I wonder where I put those. Now where did I leave those G.I. Joes? My Battle Beast are still here. There's my Donkey Kong arcade. I haven't played that in a while. No, this is all just turtle stuff. Some random figures. There's my Star Wars guys. Glad to see they're still around. Here's my mask guys. Maybe they're in this little Transformers case. Did I leave them in here? Nope, I didn't leave them in there. Hmm. Maybe I left them in here. There they are! Chuckles! Destro! Quick Kick! Crockmaster! All of you are here! All of you are here in this beautiful box. This beautiful box that was made by Nintendo. That's right guys, today we're going to be talking about this Nintendo toy box. Trunk chest. I don't know what it's called, but it's awesome. I was actually able to find some information on this thing here in this helpful Nintendo Gear and Stuff catalog. Here on page 8 it actually shows the trunk and in the description it says Zelda Trunk by Seward Luggage Company. Who knew? So after doing a little research on the Seward Luggage Company on Google, I found out that they were founded in 1878 in Petersburg, Virginia. I also found this really cool Ninja Turtle trunk they made. Check it out, it still has the tag on it with the Seward name. And if you want to know the measurement of this thing in inches, it's about 15 and 3 quarters by 15 and 3 quarters, and it's about 16 and a quarter inches tall. And the awesome thing about this trunk is you can store anything in it. Old Nintendo controllers. <laughs> Nintendo Powers. and toys. All right, now let's talk about one of my favorite parts of this trunk. It's obviously the Nintendo themed graphics. Let's look at all of them. Let's start off with the top. Here you have Mario with what appears to be Princess Daisy. He has some kind of rope attached to the top of the castle. I don't know if he plans on climbing it or what. And there are a lot of enemies he's dealing with. There's Bullet Bill, Lakitu, Goombas, a blooper, and then there's a couple toads also. It's a lot going on, but it's really fun to look at. 
The one I have is pretty scratched up, but I mean, it's 30 years old. What do you expect? And here on the front with the latch, you have the Nintendo logo. There's Super Mario up top with some Super Mario Brothers 2 related graphics. At the bottom there, you have a fairy and you have Link with the Master Sword zapping some kind of falcon. It looks pretty awesome. So whoever had this trunk must have been really mad at Mario because they drilled a hole right into his eye. Poor Mario. If you spin the box clockwise once, you'll see Mario and Luigi. Mario with the star and Luigi with the mushroom. Kind of like that Nintendo placemat that I showed you last time. See? That's pretty much the same image. Rotate the box one more time and there you have my absolute favorite graphic. There's Link with the Triforce on his hand, gleaming. It looks so awesome. I absolutely love this graphic. And luckily for me, it's probably the nicest one on this box. And I think the reason I like this image so much is because you can find it in the Adventure of Link instruction manual. I love that. Check it out. Here on page four, you can see the same exact image. Isn't that rad? And here we have the last picture. It's just Link holding up the Master Sword in his hand with a shield. And there's a really cool Legend of Zelda logo down at the bottom. Just check out those vines and that cracked piece of the Triforce. It looks so awesome. And if you had any interest at all what the bottom looks like, it's just black. Nothing special. Well guys, that's about all I have to say about the Nintendo Toy Box. I really love this thing. I think it's a great piece of Nintendo history. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. And as always, I'm glad it's one of Nintendo's oddities. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. I would also like to take a quick moment to thank all of my Patreons. Generation Gap Gaming, Megadan29, JLove81, Alex Perez, How you doing, honey? And Philip Kelly. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your continued support.